it has been said, what fates impose that men must need abide? It boots not to resist both wind and tide. Yet, Guybrush Treepwood has somehow managed to turn the tides of fate by removing the voodoo curses from his nemesis, Lechuk. Infected himself, Guybrush escaped the scientific experiments of the Marquis de Sange and managed to divert the ill winds of change, an action which could alter his own fate as well as the fate of the entire Caribbean. That is, if he lives long enough. <laughs> Press three wood. I've been waiting a long time for this. Now, wait a minute. I'm sure there's been some mistake. I don't even know you. Well, allow me to introduce myself. I am Morgan LaFlay, mighty pirate hunter. My name is feared across the seven seas. I've taken down some of the most hardened, grog-guzzling scumbags from here to Zanzibar. It's an honor to finally face off against the legendary Guybrush Threepwood. LaFlay? But you're a woman. I thought... Wait, you heard of me? Have I heard of you? Guybrush Threepwood, the pirate who destroyed the ghost pirate LeChuck single-handedly? Who discovered the mythical treasure of Big Wolf? Who escaped the inescapable Carnival of the Damned? I've been following you my whole life! Wow. Don't be too flattered. I'm here for the job. The Marquis de Singe wants that hand of yours, so I'm bringing you in. And don't even try your insult sword fighting technique on me. That's something only farm boys use these days. Appropriate. You fight like a cow. Oh! I was using that. Oh, this is gonna be good. Pick up your sword and face me like a man. Like your man or like I'm a man? I'm God. it from here. How did you get on my ship anyway? I simply grappled aboard while you were busy staring out at the sunset. You aren't very observant, you know. By the way, my grapple hook got stuck, so you owe me a new one. Can't reach it from here. Why are you taking orders from that disinge guy anyway? He's clearly one loony doctor. He's got lampreys in his lighthouse. I'm a mercenary. It's what I do. Once hired, I won't quit till the job is done. Even if it means taking down a pirate as renowned as yourself. You know, I didn't even realize I was that. Hey, get off my hands, stupid bird. Hey, shoot, get away. onto my ship with this? Where's the rope part? Well, obviously I kept the rope. You wouldn't believe the number of situations a length of rope comes in handy for. For example, using it to tie up your first mate. Yeah, well, I'm keeping the hook. Go ahead. I'll just take it back after I kill you. Hey, shoot, get away. I think Quinslow put that barrel up there to keep it from rolling around on deck. Or to keep me from breaking it. The mess in there. I'll clean it later. Looks like those bits of rope are securing that barrel in place.
that right now. Hey, where's Winslow? You better not have heard him, you salty sea witch. He's fine. I just got him tied up in the main quarter. Keep your head in the fight. Don't worry about me, Captain. I am sure I can wriggle my way out of the ropes eventually. could hold my weight, but it's about an inch out of reach. I still can't quite reach it. Are you okay? Quite well, sir. 
Disagree? Not gonna happen. Winslow is going to be mad. I can't reach it from here. I still can't quite reach it. Back off, woman. Never! Filled with fish and just barely hanging on up there. I can't reach it from here. Every enemy I've met, I'm annihilated. With your breath, I'm sure they all suffocated. Morgan, I hate to do this to a fan, but you did cut off my hand. What? Uh oh. Ah! You are good, Guybrush Threefoot. Well, I hate to battle and run, but I've got to see a doctor about this hand. Here I come, Captain Threefoot. Where is the lass? A runner through and use her for fish bait. She's gone. And she took my hand. Quick, let's get after her. Let her go, Mr. Winslow. I've got to find Elaine. Last time I saw her, she was falling into LeChuck's evil clutches. Looked like a cheerful, friendly moment to evil me. Evil clutches. We're not going far with the mask in that shape. 
The cowardly cutthroat must have released the counterweight I set up to keep the mast balanced. Now it's cracked. It is? It is indeed. It may be just a hairline fracture, but I can tell. We'll have to take it easy until we can get her fixed. Very well, Mr. Winslow. We'll head for the Jerkbait Islands. Right. We can have our mast repaired there. Uh, sure. Also, that's the direction Elaine was headed. I'll steer while you navigate. I mounted the map outside your quarters for your convenience. Prepare to set sail, Mr. Winslow. Set sail for the Jerkbait Islands, Mr. Winslow. Yes, sir, Captain Threepwood. Are we there yet, Mr. Winslow? Aye, Captain. Spinner K, the main epicenter of the Jerkbait Islands. Really? Where is everybody? Hmm. It's been many years since I've been here. But if the city is still inhabited by merfolk, I'd say underwater. Merfolk? <laughs> Maybe I'll meet a pretty mermaid. Eh, well... Uh, you're right. Maybe later. First, I've got to make sure Elaine is safe from the evil of Chuck. Don't forget... Before we can set out to sea again, we'll need our mast repaired. Right, right, we need a plastic pair, got it. <laughs> Mermaids. Afraid of a little old that came in like me? <sighs> Sorry about that. So, are you a mer... That's right. I am 100% proud of the Canian merfolk. Tail kinda gave it away, huh? So what brings you to Spinner K? I'm looking for my wife, Elaine. She's the most beautiful pirate you've ever seen, with silky red hair and eyes as green as summer grog. Oh, that's so sweet. You know, I think I did see her. She and that other guy arrived about an hour before you did. Do you know where I can get my mask repaired? I sure do. There's a shop right inside our town. Just follow the cave path, and it'll take you right there. You saw Elaine with some other guy? Who was he? Some big jerk? I could probably take him. You know, if I had to. But Elaine is usually okay, right? Yeah, I think so. She went right over to the Royal Chamber, and the guy set off into the jungles with an armful of monkeys. Royal Chamber, got it. I'll deal with the monkey smuggler later. I gotta run. Uh, no offense. None taken. Give me what I want, or we'll tear your whole town to pieces looking! You and your men shall not have the ancient summoning artifacts. Then maybe we'll move on to your idiots and tear those to pieces looking, you overgrown tadpole! Please, calm down. I'm sure we can find a solution that works for everyone. Elaine! Guybrush! Guybrush! Thank goodness you're all right. I've been worried sick about you. First the explosion, then that big cloud of voodoo pox you released from a chuck started infecting pirates all over the Caribbean. That was an accident. The sword was crooked. The spell was misspelled. The breathments had artificial ingredients. It wasn't my fault. I bet there was a conspiracy. Oh my god! Your hand! What hand? What exactly? What happened to your hand? And where is your wedding ring? Uh, um... Well, it happened like this. Arr, I should gut you where you stand. Uh, I'd better get back there before they kill each other. Here, take my ring. 
Oh, no, that's the one that... Just take it! Trust me. And don't lose it, Guybrush Threepwood. Oh, come on. Who's absent-minded enough to lose two wedding rings? Uh, it's me, Guybrush Threepwood. Why do you Shut up, you. You mean to summon in artifacts? You shall never have them. Let's forget about the artifacts for a moment. The artifacts are sacred. I will not let them fall into the wrong hands. Can we agree to disagree? This is pointless. How about a compromise? La Spunja Grande will not be given to these vile pirates. Only you shut I want them all! You shall never have them. Okay, let's start again. We need La Spunja Grande more than you. The artifacts are sacred. I will not let them fall into the wrong hands. Just say something. Both of you, shut up! Ah, Spunja Grande will not be given to these vile pirates. Enough of this. Just tell me where they are. You're both being unreasonable. Give me the summoning artifacts. You will choose who may have the artifacts, not you. Can I just say something? This is pointless. How about a compromise? Understand you do ship repair here? You! I thought I told you to stay away from this place! Especially after that stunt you played at the Royal Aquarium! But I. <laughs> I'm just messing with you, handsome! This me, Anemone! Oh, uh, you got me. How'd you get up here? I swam! So, what did you say you needed? I need my mast repair. Sure thing! You want a patch job or a full mast repair? Uh, it's just a crack. I guess a patch job will do. See, that's how they get you. A patch job is basically the same amount of work as a full replacement, but it's starting to go bad on you a lot faster. I give you a full mass replacement. I'll be right back. Hmm. Why do I have that song stuck in my head? There we go. I'll fix. Your man, Mr. Winslow, took care of the bill. Nice guy, that Reggie. Does he have a cousin? How'd you repair my ship so fast? I'm telling you, mouse replacement is easy. There are a whole slew of trees out there on Spoon Island Beach just perfect for mass. Not to mention the fact that they are just sitting by the water's edge where I can easily grab one. I just float one over to your ship, a flip, a flop, and it's done. of a man named Dakaba? I'm supposed to show him this locket. You mean Crazy Sponge Guy? Yeah, I remember him. Last time I saw him, he was putting together a crew to go after some mystical sea urchin or something. Haven't seen him in a while, but he used to have a little shelter out on Row Island. Can I ride your raft? Oh, how sweet of you to ask. But I don't do raft business from up here. Meet me down by the docks for that. Can I have some bait? Sure. How would you like to pay for it? I'll trade you a pirate parrot. Sorry, we don't take those. Oh. We also don't accept personal checks, traveler's checks, credit, barter, foreign currency, or local currency. You don't even take local currency? What do you accept? Coupons. About those coupons? Ah, uh, do you have one? No, but can't you be a sweetheart and give me one anyway? Uh, what are you doing? Are you flirting? Um, I don't know. Look, it's really easy. Just bring me a coupon and I'll give you some bait. Got it? Yep.
facts are sacred, I will not let them fall into the wrong hands. Can we agree to disagree? This is pointless. Without a compromise. sailor. Hello, squishy fish person. <laughs> Hello, pudgy human. My name is Tetra. Hi, I'm Guybrush Threepwood and Pudgy? Have you come to our library to read up on the rich cultural history of the Vakalian race? No, actually, but I do have a few other questions. And they're not Pudgy. hear of a guy named Dekava? I have a locket for him. Oh yes! That guy used to be here at the library all the time, checking out books about sea sponges, aquatic mammals, and mythological treasures. <laughs> Bit of a nut if you ask me. Sea sponges, huh? When was the last time you saw him? Oh, it's been ages since he's been around. Good luck finding him. Thanks. You know, I would like a book from the library. I knew you would. What can I get for you? Maybe some light-hearted fiction. Perfect. I'll get you one of my favorites. Enjoy. The Old Man and the Seagull. It's about an old man who describes everything he sees in detail to a blind seagull while lost at sea. Oh, sounds exciting. I think I'll wait for the move. Tell me about the Kalian history. Well, did you know that centuries ago, we merfolk bypassed evolution and used the Kalian science to obtain legs on which to walk on land? Nope, I can safely say I did not know that. We used that same technology to reattach our tails when we returned to Mother Ocean. It's fascinating. Oh, yeah, fascinating. All this knowledge and more can be found right here in your local library. I'd like another book. Sure. What are you looking for? How about something historical, right with political intrigue? Sure. Oh, I know a great one you might like. I'll be right back. Here you go. A City of Two Tales, an in-depth analysis of the rationale concerning the decision to leave the ocean and the inevitable return. I, uh, think I've read this one before. Thanks anyway. What's the deal with this building? This is our library and cultural archives. It houses centuries worth of information about the evolution of the Vakalian people. It's also a protected national landmark, so it'll be here forever. But it's underwater. <laughs> well, of course. We sunk it. Why? The library was built during the age of terra firma, but when we as a race returned to the sea, we felt our knowledge should do the same. Doesn't that make your books all soggy? Hmm, sure does. Uh, okay. That's enough book learning for now. I've got piratey things to do. Go get them, swashbuckler. 